A Lexington native is chasing her dreams and making a name for herself. Chanel Minifield left Lexington six years ago, and she joins me now from her home in Studio City. Chanel, it's so great to have you on Best of the Bluegrass. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Jennifer. <laughs> so to so take us back, what was that like? You know, you, you grew up in Lexington, but you knew that you wanted to take a different path and how you, you know, reached that decision and made the choice to go after your dreams. Being in the entertainment industry has always been a dream of mine. Ever since I was, I believe, 14 is when I landed my first agent out here, out in Kentucky. I was about to say out here, but I'm in LA, guys. Hey, guys, I'm in LA. <laughs> um, and so... Yeah, so it's always been a goal of mine. I would spend my summers in Los Angeles and New York going to acting school. And so I made a deal with my parents that as soon as I graduated college, I got to move out to California. Uh, and so that was the deal. And I was just like laser focused throughout my whole process from high school to college. And I was like, I'm not spending no more than four years in college. I'm getting out of there because I got to get to L.A. And so as soon as I did that, I got out to LA, I landed all of my representation and I just kind of hit the ground running. And you've done everything. You've done commercials, you had a movie. So you, what, what's the experience been like for you so far? It has been up and down. It has been peaks and valleys. I mean, it's like I'm up one year and then the next year I don't book anything. So it's definitely, you know, a test of your resiliency out here. It's definitely knowing in your heart that this is what you want to do because you face a lot of adversity and you face a lot of no's. But I take every small victory from callbacks to bookings. All of them are victories in my book. And so, you know, that just keeps me going. And so throughout my six years, you know, um, I think it was my fifth year is when I booked my first movie. And on top of that, we were in the pandemic. That was the beginning of the pandemic. And I did not get to walk the red carpet. <laughs> I was like, no, my first movie. And I don't get to do a red carpet. All of our screenings, all of our um, premiere parties were canceled. So, But Alan the Dog is the movie. And people can still enjoy it because it's on demand now. Yes. Yes, it is. You can view it on Amazon, rent, to, oh, rent or own on Amazon, um, Comcast, Spectrum TV, iTunes, uh, anything, you know? I love it. You're, you're like your own publicist. This, it, it's, so, it's so fantastic. <laughs> and, and so, and now you have a new project. You know, you really had to pivot during the pandemic and you did some different things. And this new project is one of them with your own cooking show. Tell yes. us about that. Okay, so literally when the pandemic hit, there was a moment where I wasn't doing anything. I mean, our audition stopped, the studio shut down, everything shut down. And I was like, you know, this showed me that I could not really rely on other people for my own income. And so I was like, I really have to get another supplemental income. And I decided, you know, I'm going to make that supplemental income through social media. I mean, everybody's doing it. That's our generation. You know what I mean? That's the millennial income now is through social media mainly. And so I was like, I need a piece of that pie. And so I started putting my uh, cooking on there. I'm a vegan. I've been vegan for six years. And I know that a lot of my friends are always like, wow, that food is vegan. Like everybody's so impressed on the things that I eat, how I eat the same things that they eat, but it's just a little healthier option. And so I just wanted to help educate people on how to be vegan. And from there, things just kind of skyrocketed. My TikTok started blowing up. My YouTube started blowing up. My Instagram started blowing up. And then next thing you know, I pitched the show to this new streaming platform called Taste on TV. That's Black Dome. And um, they picked it up. And so this all spawned through the pandemic. And so this is a way, too, where you're not giving up your other dreams. You're just trying something different and doing that in the meantime. Exactly. And you know what's so funny is being from Lexington, I grew up, um, I went to Sarah and our senior year in Sarah, we had to pick, pick an internship. And my internship, I picked to go to Atlanta to uh, shadow Monique on the Monique show when she had it in BET. So I spent my time in Atlanta doing that um, for half of my internship. And I remember sitting there watching her and being like, I want to be a host. I want to have my own TV show. That looks amazing. And so from there, I started this YouTube show called The Chanel Show, kind of fizzled out, but I'm back at it. Like, but this all started from Sayer. 
from there telling me my senior year, figure out what you want to do. And I had to sit down and be like, Chanel, what do you want to do? And I was like, the entertainment industry, how am I going to get in there? And so that's what I did. And it was all thanks to say. <laughs> so how can people follow you? Here's your chance. Plug all of your platforms. <laughs> okay. So the easiest way to actually follow me is to go to my Instagram, which is Chanel Chanel 5. And from there, you can click the link in my bio and it will take you everywhere else to my TikTok, to my YouTube, to also taste on TV. Chanel, it is so great to talk to you. Uh, can't wait to see what you do next. So thank you so much for taking some time to be with us today. Thank you so much. This has been awesome. Thank you again.